Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing um, Meryl Davis's short dance look from Skate America this year, um, 2010, and I really like it a lot. Um, I don't know, I just usually always like Meryl's makeup. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this and we'll go ahead and get started. So first start by priming your eyes. Um, I'm using Beauty Control Shadow Control Cream. And I know I need to repaint my nails. Very badly. It's really bugging me. My voice sounded really funny. Okay. Anybody ever have those days where you just want to shave your eyebrows off? I'm having that kind of a day. Because <laughs> they just look so... Ooh, and they're just everywhere, and it's really annoying. I kinda like my voice. Ugh. Um, I think. Okay, so I'm going to be using browns. Um, she could have used grays, but it kind of looks like taupey-ish browns. So, for this, I'm going to be using both the Enchanted Forest Quad and the Designer Chocolate Squad. Um, I'm going to get my brush. I'm using the Eco Tools Crease Brush. Um, that's just what I like to put most of my eyeshadow on with. Um, but first, I'm going to use the Shade Brush by Eco Tools, and I use this um, for like up around my eyebrow and in my inner corner here. And for my color up there, um, I'm just using the <laughs> cords everywhere. The highlight color from the Enchanted Forest Quad. It's just a good shimmery light color that goes well with my skin tone. So for the lid color, I am going to be using the actual lid color in this Designer Chocolate Squad right here. And I'm just going to sweep that all across the lid. And I think I might actually use this lid color from the Enchanted Forest Quad as well. Um, just to darken it up a little bit, I think Meryl is a bit more fair skinned than I am. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I like this better. Okay. Now um, wipe your brush off, or if you have multiple, get another one, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then we're going to put the, we're not going to use the crease color because it's pinkish. We're going to use this uh, dark color right here, it's the outer corner color, and we're going to put this in our crease as well as down a little bit the phone again oh my gosh it like always rings while I'm doing this
And I'm not going to answer it, so... Uh, if you're local Kentucky listening to Air One today, you know, you're probably very excited. We'll be concert tomorrow night. You can find out more about concerts near you at airone.com. Okay. So that looks good. That needs to be blended a little. I'll get my blendy one in. Do that. Let's see. I'm looking at a picture of Meryl right here. Okay, so I think instead of doing liner like on the on your lash line here, I think I'm going to tight line the eyes so you still get the effect of a dark line there, but you don't actually um, have liner on your top part, on your lash line. So um, tight line your eye. And I am using black. Um, it's just... Rimmel's Soft Coal uh, Eyeliner in Black. I just wish my eyes were the same size. Life would be a lot easier. Okay. Um, now... Let me see... So I couldn't quite tell um, with Meryl's makeup, but usually she does uh, line her waterline and extend it um, thicker a little bit at the edges, so um, I don't like doing that as much. I like a little bit softer look, I like during the daytime, which is what this is right now for me, um, but I'll go ahead and do it. I'm just using the same eyeliner that I used for um, whenever I tight lined my eye. And then Meryl usually like takes it out a little right here. And then take it um, a little onto your top lash line too. Go back with the brow bone color up here. And then I'm going to actually use the brow bone color from the Chocolate Smokes uh, quad for my inner corner. Oh, curl your lashes. And then I'm using Maybelline's The Falsies Volume Express, and I'm also going to be using uh, the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Um, I just like using both of them whenever I'm not using my um, Beauty Control Spectaculash. and also do your lower lashes. Okay, so besides the lips and cheeks, this is pretty much Meryl's um, look, or at least as close as I could recreate it from what um, I could tell. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it, I guess. Um, Hope you guys are having a good day, night, whatever, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.